Hey you guys, it's Marcy, and I just wanted to hop on here real quick. I actually already started, but I thought about it and I was like, wait, y'all might want to see how I wrap and ship DVD VHS combo units, like the DVD VHS players. So um, I did already get started. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is, um, you know, you could either use a measuring tape and measure out your um, item, or you could just eyeball it. I just find boxes that I have. I usually try to save boxes around this size um, for the units that I do have listed available for sale. And so you just wanna eyeball and make sure that the box is slightly larger than your product. The reason so, you want to allow room to wrap the product with bubble wrap or some sort of um, cushion to keep the, um, the DVD player from bouncing around inside the box. You wanna wrap it really well, secure it, give it a little bit of cushion, and that way when you put it in your box, it's got some protection just in case if it gets, you know, kind of thrown around by your delivery, um, whoever your delivery person may be. So I already wrapped it around. Um, you can see I wrapped it around the long ways, and now I'm just going to wrap it around sideways and do like this. And I'm just going to kind of seal it all the way around. And sorry for the noise on the tape. I do not like this tape dispenser, but you know, this, this is just proof to show you, you don't have to have all the bells and whistles of the best products out on the market to be a reseller and to be able to um, still sell things online. Start with what you got. This is just a tape dispenser I've had. I've been selling for a little over a year now. I have not upgraded, it works fine. Now this particular batch of tape I just got in, I think it's a little bit on the cheaper side of tape. And to be honest, it's it's really loud when it comes through. So, but you know what? It still sticks. So I'm not gonna complain about it too much, you know? Um, except for you don't want it to stick to each other. <laughs> there we go. Um, so, so once I get that around that side, then I'm gonna pull my bubble wrap over. Now, Another thing, you know, you wanna to try to find ways that you can save money on shipping supplies. I currently buy these big rolls either from Walmart or Sam's Club, um, but I have seen where you can get products like this on, pro on online sites such as Uline, and I'm gonna check into that on my next um, on my next purchase. I think this roll is gonna last me a little while. Um, I typically don't have to bubble wrap things unless it is an electronic device, some sort of home, home good item, which, I don't sell a lot of um, household items. I mostly do clothing and shoes, um, but I have the bubble wrap, you know, just in case, because I have picked up items at the thrift or garage sales. That's typically where I find my items that I'm gonna sell. And um, when, I, when I pick up those items, I like to have the bubble wrap on hand so that if an item sells, such as this one sold, um, I've got it on hand to be able to package that item up properly and get it safely to the buyer. All right, so we're gonna wrap this side. Do that real quick. And there. And the other side. And the other thing that I was gonna tell y'all is with the box, if your box is a little too big, you can kind of cut it down, not really cut it down, but you can like kind of break it down and trim it some if you need to. Um, that way there's not a lot of extra room inside your box either. So give me one second and I'm gonna show you that step as well. Um, another thing I'll tell you about this unit, this unit I sold is called the Emerson, uh, I think it's Emerson EWD 2004. I think is the model number on the unit. I want to say I paid around five or six dollars for this. I did pick it up from a local Goodwill and I sold it for $28.99. It does not come with the remote, it's just the unit. And um, it is the DVD VHS combo unit. Okay, so just making sure all the edges are sealed. Okay, looking pretty good. Uh, now, I do want to put it inside the box right side up, and let's switch this over because I don't want to block, I don't want to put everything on my desk and block your view. I want you to try to see as much as possible, so let me see how to do this here. I'm doing this just from my living room. I don't have a fancy office or 
I mean, I have a little office space in my house that I've created, and that is just fine. I mean, it's allowing me to do what I need to do to get my packaging, shipping, all that good stuff done. Now, I do have a couple of these. I'm just gonna stick on the sides because I'm gonna actually give you a little sneak peek inside the box so you can see what it looks like here. Because it is a little bit wider on one side. So see, now what I'm gonna do is go around and score. So you take your scissors like this and you score the box. I'm not gonna do it because with one hand, I wanna make sure I get my line straight, but I'm just giving you an example of what to do. You take your scissors and you score along the inside of the box evenly. And when you do that, it, pre it puts a perforation on the cardboard and allows you to fold it and close it down tighter on top of your product. That way you don't have a lot of extra space that you've got to put more filler inside the box and what that does is add on more weight. Another thing that you can do once you go around and do that little score line, it, once you fold your edges down, you might find that you have some excess cardboard that you can cut off and trim. And that's also gonna save you on the weight for your item. Um, I did charge the buyer the shipping for this item and I'm sorry, I don't remember what the shipping ended up, I don't remember what the shipping cost ended up being, but um, like I said, I sold the item, I sold, sold the unit for $28.99 and I paid like five or $6 on it. So pretty good profit for the item. I've had it for probably four months, maybe about four months. And um, yeah, I'll definitely pick one up again. It's really, really great to find these type of items at garage sales especially. So I'm looking forward to getting past all the stuff that's going on in the world right now and, and getting back to being around people and looking forward to garage sales starting up. So I'm sure that many of you out there are as well. And I just cannot wait. So uh, I think that's it, guys. I, I mainly just wanted to hop on here real quick and show you a really simple, easy way to package a DVD VHS combo. It doesn't have to be difficult. The main thing you want to do is just make sure that you're protecting your product. Put bubble wrap around it. If you don't have a bu if you don't have bubble wrap at home, don't feel like you need to rush out to the store and buy some. You could use things such as. Um, uh, you could save uh, grocery bags, the plastic grocery bags, if you saved enough of them, and just use that as your filler to help protect your item. Now, obviously, you're going to need a lot more of those to make sure that it creates a surface all the way around your item, and it, it's not really something I would recommend with an electronic um, where you have parts inside that could bounce around. You definitely want to try to find something that's going to cushion it a little more, but it would work. I mean, if that's all you've got, you've got to work with what you've got sometimes. You know, paper towels, bunching up a, whole, you know, a bunch of paper towels. They're kind of lightweight, um, and those also help provide some cushion for your item. You could even do tissue paper or like a wrapping, like some sort of a wrapping paper that's like all crumbled up and bunched up, and you could create a layer on the bottom, the sides, and on the top of your, of your product, and then seal it up nicely in a box. So that's all I've got for you this time, guys. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Um, I, I want to come at y'all with some more videos. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to incorporate little things I do every day just to show you. I'm just a regular person. I have a full-time job. I do this on the side for fun. I find all my things, like I said, at thrift, thrift stores um, and yard sales uh, mostly. And sometimes friends and family will give me things that they no longer need or are using. So always remember to reach out to your friends and family and ask them. Check places like Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. People are always getting rid of stuff for free. Um, if you're low on funds, that's a great way to get started. Or just look around your house and find things that you aren't using anymore that you can put online and list for free. Um, eBay is primarily where I sell my items. However, there's many, many other sites uh, that you can hop on easily and learn to start listing and selling your items and making profit on the items that you're selling. So good luck out there, you guys. Again, thank you so much. Hit the like button if you enjoyed my video and if it was helpful. Um, I'm just trying to provide um, information so that others can find a way to make a little side cash. So as always, you guys, until we see each other again next time, I wish you wealth, health, and abundance, and I will see you soon.